Grab your wrench and let's change those new Aqua RO system filters. First off, let's review the filter change intervals. There's four of them that you should change every six months. That would be the sediment filter, the GAC filter, the carbon block filter, and the post carbon filter. The three remaining filters would be every 12 months. That's the reverse osmosis membrane, the alkaline filter, and the UV filter. If your system has a booster pump, let's go ahead and unplug that now. Turn off the water to your system, opening up your faucet to depressurize your system. In doing this, that will completely drain the tank, which should take about five minutes. Place a towel underneath the filter housings. Alternatively, you could remove all of the connections and place it on your counter for easier removal. Use the large opening in your wrench, slip it under here, turn counterclockwise, Also notice that this seal was in the bottom of the housing. Make sure you get all of the old seals removed before you place your new filters in there. Now is the perfect time to clean the housings. A little dish soap to our water, nice and warm. You can see all the dirt and grime in there. We want to wash all of that out. And at the same time, let's take a look at the O-rings. This is the time to make sure that they are in place and seated properly. Also inspect them for any signs of damage because most leaks occur due to either a damaged or a pinched o-ring. We recommend replacing all o-rings once a year but at the maximum they should be replaced every three years. This is also a good time to inspect your tubing and replace that every three years. These can be ordered directly from our site on newaquasystems.com. Once you've washed the housings out really well, make sure to rinse them really well. You don't want any soap residue left in these uh, housings whatsoever. They'll be good to go once you've rinsed them out. Let's go ahead and install our new carbon filter. Little reminder, you can see it says carbon filter right here on the label. Next up is the pre-carbon filter. Please note it's common for people to install this filter upside down, which will stop the flow of water. The big wide rubber washer on top, it's either black or white, is the top. And this is the bottom side. Finally, our sediment filter. The carbon post filter is a six to nine month lifespan, so you get a new one and replace it. So taking the yellow tubing off, just unsnap it, snap the new one back on, connect your yellow tubing, your blue clip. Let's replace the RO membrane. Let's remove the red tubing. That way we can fit our wrench on there to hold it on one end, turn it this way. Take off the end cap, and I use a pair of needle nose pliers just to grab it and gently pull it out, just like that. And this is another opportunity to inspect O-rings for any excessive wear or damage. What you do is you open your new one, slide it back in there, make sure to push it in all the way, place the cap, tighten it with the wrench, 
replace your tubing all the way in there. Don't forget your blue clip, keep it all sealed. About the alkaline filter, this one lasts a whole year. So what you wanna do is you're just gonna disconnect it at each end here and here. You're gonna snap that off, snap on the new one and plug your hoses back in. It's pretty simple. You should change out the UV bulb once a year. You just do this by unscrewing it. Making sure that the quartz tube stays in there. Just like that. To keep the oils of your skin off of the glass, use a pair of mechanical gloves or latex gloves. What happens is the oils on your skin get on the glass when the glass is in operation, it develops a hot spot that could weaken the glass and therefore shorten the life of your bulb. So gloves are highly recommended. And reassemble. Step number one of system startup is to make sure the ball tank valve is closed. Slowly open the feed water valve. If equipped, plug in the pump and the UV light. Open up the faucet to flush the system for 30 minutes. And this is a good time to check for any leaks in your cabinet on your system. Once 30 minutes have passed, close the faucet and let the system pressurize for 10 minutes. Come down here and open the ball tank valve and you're gonna let your tank fill for one to two hours. You'll open the faucet and you'll drain all this out. It will take about five minutes. Let it fill again. Drain the drain it out by turning the faucet on. Fill again. Drain it out. So three times, let the tank fill, drain it out, and then you'll be good to go. So now what I suggest that you do is pretty much every day for the next couple weeks, just check for leaks on anything. Well, it truly is easy as one, two, three, as you saw. Now for the next couple hours, check underneath the counter and make sure that there's no leaks that you may need to button anything up. Otherwise, check the links below for our Filter Club membership. It'll send you filters at the right time every year. That way your water stays consistently clean for your entire family. From all of us at New Aqua, thank you.